tail of the tape. There you see the five-year age difference, but the height advantage goes in favor of Dennis Galarza, similar in weight and also in the reach as well. And now to begin, PBC on FS1. Let's send it up to the ring announcer. Here is my brother, Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Sam's Town Live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with 10 rounds in the lights welterweight division. The three judges ringside, Patricia Morse Jarman, Dave Morietti, and Ricardo Ocasio, and the referee in charge, Robert Bird. Introducing first, out of the red corner, wearing black and white, his professional record, 18 wins with 11 knockouts and four defeats from Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Introducing Omar Eduardo Guadalupe. Across the ring, out of the blue corner, sporting the white with gold and black trim. As a professional, 15 victories with nine knockouts and two losses from Brooklyn, New York. Introducing Dennis, the surgeon Galarza. Make it care business, baby. Take care business. Let's go right in the middle of the monkeys on. For those of you guys, you guys had your instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm to remind you of now is when I tell you stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing and give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do this. It is our first bout of the evening. Dennis Galarza as he hugs his father, Jason Galarza, who happens to be his trainer. Dennis Galarza, having celebrated Father's Day, he is the father to a young son, Jaden, colliding against Omar Tiendam, who is 0-3 on U.S. soil. He is open for his first victory tonight. Dennis Galarza, 5'10". He's won 10 of his last 11. Likes to stay busy, does Galarza. Immediately starting off strong is Omar Tiendam with the left hook. Jalen, how important is it for Dennis Galarza to start assertive in trying to keep Omar Tienda off balance? So right now he wants to, to solidify himself and get his respect. So yeah, it start, it's very important to start off fast using the jab. He's working behind the jab, using his range. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. And for Omar Tienda, he is under the guidance of Jesus Fuentes, who's his new trainer, has been with him for six months, was training for a couple of years under Eric Morales, but he said that it was not a good working relationship and he felt the change was needed. And incidentally, Jesus Fuentes was the trainer for Cesar Valenzuela, and Valenzuela picked up the victory over Dennis Galarza last September in New Mexico, also a PBC on FS1 show, as a minute has elapsed here in the first round. Tienda has won three of his last four. During the fighter meetings, Dennis Galarza proclaimed the and showed us the tight-knit friendship that he has with Erickson Lupin, says that he's his brother. Uh, they both have known each other since they were seven years of age. Yeah, he also said that, I asked him, who's his favorite fighter? He said, Erickson Lupin is my favorite fighter. That's a pretty outstanding young fighter as Erickson Lubin uh, coming off a win over Jorge Cota. And now the number one contender to Jermel Charlo's WBC Super Welterweight Championship. And immediately Galarza goes to the abdomen with the right cross. But back comes Tienda. Tienda hammered away upstairs. Galarza answers back though. Nice uppercut there to snap the head back of Tienda. Galarza's very aggressive going to the body. Good short shots. Badu, are you surprised that Galarza is fighting on the inside but has the height advantage? Yes and no, but uh, you can tell he's a way bigger guy, naturally. So I think he's trying to use his size and break him down. Good shot. Good jab. Yeah, he said in the fighting meeting that his, his jab is his best punch. He does his jab a lot. Shut up. And the nose of Omar Tienda is reddening. 
from that jab of Dennis Galarza. And as you both alluded to, Galarza told us that his favorite punch is the jab, and it's all about fundamentals. And a nice uppercut there. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Dennis Galarza. Round one is in the books. You are watching the PBC on FS1. Right, and the action right, has intensified with round one. And you see Dennis Galarza's his his father was asking him that he wants him to go more to the body and, and utilize that jab more through round one, guys. How do you have it? I gave that round to Galarza. I would give it to Galarza as well. Galarza's five years the junior. Let him out, let him out, let him out. Let him out. Galarza. Tienda. Tienda, he's, he's very game though. He's trying. Lars is using his jab as a warm and he continues to pepper Tienda with that jab. And Galarza, he has fought at 140, he's fought at 130, 135. He proclaimed that 135 is going to be his home, that he feels that he can really make a name for himself here in the lightweight division. And 135 is loaded with a ton of talent. As you have, you know, Mikey Garcia is going to fight Adrian Broner, or Robert Easter Jr., who's defending his IBF lightweight championship next week in Toledo, Ohio against Dennis Shafikov. So there is a litany of quality opposition for Galarza to embark upon. Yeah, the 135 division is very loaded. He also said that, you know, he learned from his two losses. There's going to be no excuses. No, 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 no. Keep pushing forward. And for Tienda, the one item that his corner was telling us is that they want him to pressure uh, Dennis Galarza. Tienda is a boxer puncher, but in this particular fight, they need him to be more aggressive and push the pace as Galarza comes upstairs with a nice overhand right. Get off his neck, get off his neck. No, no. Stunned Omar Tienda. Push. And referee Robert Byrd said that it was a push. That no knockdown as we are nearing the 82nd mark and round to a nice left hook that staggered Tienda. And now Galarza has Tienda hurt and shook him up momentarily. Galarza got a lot of leverage stop, behind stop, that stop, left stop, hook. Stop, 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 and Tienda, as you can see the look in his face, not necessarily content with what is going on. He's frustrated with how Dennis Galarza no, 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 able to no, take control no, 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 no. of the first round and change. Tienda comes back there with the left hook. Jay Leon, the ability for Dennis Galarza, he's fighting well on the inside, but then he goes back to utilizing his height and keeping Tienda at the end of his punches to get the full leverage behind his shots. Yeah, he's um, using the range, he's very tall. And uh, Tienda's having a hard time, hard time no, no, trying no, to get him close. No, no, let him out, let him out, let him out, let him out. I like Galarza fighting at his range, though. He has more pop on his punches. Get off, get off his neck, get off his neck. And a nice uppercut off that elbow. But Robert Byrd, and Tienda looks at Robert Byrd because he believes that Galarza grabbed the back of his head and brought it down, therefore allowing the shot to land. Final moments of round two. It looks like uh, uh, Tienda's... Got a bell, got a bell, got a bell, got a bell. Got a bell. Got a bell. It's the end of round two. You were watching the PBC here on FS1. Las Vegas for PBC on FS1. Dennis Galarza there being guided by his father, Jason Galarza. Manu, what would you like to see out of Dennis Galarza? I mean, he's very impressive so far through two. I would like uh, for him to use his reach a little more and just let his hands go and beat up off. Dennis Galarza had a extensive amateur career over 155 no, 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 points, 133 and 22. Let him up, let him out, let him up, let him up, let him out. So many championships in the amateurs, top honors at the Junior Golden Gloves and the National Pell Tournaments as well. Alongside Erickson Lubin and a nice right hand to start. And again, Tienda gets shaken up by that. Why don't you get out? Let him go. Go on. Tienda. I think Tienda's corner cut his hair so he can see him. Yeah, he doesn't have the head that he had. So my goodness, how that is. Watch your head. Watch your head. Manchester, England, over 10 years.
years ago, or almost 10 years ago, and Paul was having issues when it came to his hair, and they had to literally cut the hair in order for that to happen, and it looks like the same ball as Bruno Martina. It looks like a bad haircut. Dolores goes back to work with Bruno Martina. It's followed by a left hook. They're taking this fight serious. Watch that forearm. He only had uh, six hours of so he don't have a lot of experience. And Galarza is loading up. Your hands are free. Nice left hook to the body there underneath the right arm of Tienda, but Tienda comes back. Comes right back, right back. This is Tienda's fight in this side. Another left hook smacking the side of the head of Omar Tienda. Sustained in the hands pocket, let him go, let him go. Free up. As seen, he's using Free up your his, hands. his reach and his height, but he's now staying in the pocket but fighting at close range. Yeah, he's actually giving Tienda a better chance. Yeah, you know, Tienda's winning the inside game. I like Galarza on the outside using his range. Badu, could it be a sign that Galarza's trying to bring an end to the night of Omar Get your hands free, get your hands free. Yeah, it could be that he feels like Tienda don't have, have that much power and, and he feels like he's, he's a stronger guy. Tienda has a percent knockout percentage, but Galarza seems to be willing to engage in close quarters. Get off his neck, get off his neck, get off his neck, get off his neck. He's doing a good job. This would be an impressive victory. If Dennis Galarza well, is get your hands free. Let him go, Galarza. Omar Tienda has only been stopped one time. Other than that, Tienda has never been dropped or near the verge of being halted, with the exception of that. No, 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 no. Let him up, let him up, let him up, let him up. As we approach the final moments of round three between Dennis Galarza and Omar Tienda. <laughs> Dennis Galarza and Omar Tienda beginning the evening. Time! And towards the fourth round, you are watching the PBC on FS1. Welcome back to the PBC on FS1. Omar Tienda having some difficulty with Dennis Galarza. And let's take a look. And there you see the hairpiece there on the Second top of my head. It's almost like Second a there. Where they went in the corner because the extra hair was impairing the vision of Omar Tienda and they actually sliced and cut him. They gave him a haircut in between one of the rounds and my oh my. That's the only the second time I've seen that but lo and behold it is benefiting him and he's able to see a little bit more clearly. Yeah, he's actually fighting much better than what he was in the earlier rounds. Omar Tienda feels that he's this, he's being underrated. He, he had a defeat at the hands of Brazilian Olympian Everton Lopez and he comes up. Let him go, let him go, there. punch it, get out. In September 2015, Tienda scored two knockdowns and he felt that the worst he should have gotten was a draw, but they gave him, they gave Lopez, who was the more high profile name, the decision and that didn't sit well with Omar Tienda. Yeah, he, he said that the idea is to, to pressure the Lord. I think he knows he can't win a boxing fight. You gotta be. Right, stop, gotta stop, 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 stop. The Lord's loading up on the left hook that missed. Jay Leon with Dennis Galarza, he's throwing the jab, but he, he's working up more on his power punches. In the third round, he was throwing a lot of left hooks and right hands to the body instead of having everything come off the jab, as was the case in the first two rounds. Yeah, right now, I don't think he knew that the uh, would be this aggressive. Let him go, let him go, Galar. Let him go. But he's working. He's let him go. A lot harder than what I think he thought it would have yeah, anticipated. Oh. And let's take a look at our scorecard according to Badu Jack and Jay Leon Love. They have Dennis Galarza ahead, 30-27. And there goes the jab that Dennis Galarza said is his favorite punch, and he's scoring more as everything is coming out behind that jab, followed by a left hook. Stop! Stop! Get your punches up. Oh, sorry, get him up. Get him up. Get him up. You all right? It's warning Omar right. Tienda about low blows, and that has been a topic of hot conversation uh, over the past few days here uh, in Las Vegas, and more punches get there. Get your hands free. Get your hands free. By Omar Tienda. Under a minute to go in round four. That's different low blow or punch and belly. Tienda has his, you know, trash. Of cutting off the mobility of Dennis.
is Tiago likes to switch as well. He switches from South Puts himself in different positions, but he's definitely game. He's Don't push. He's just keeping his range and landing the cleaner, cleaner shots. So once again, assertive, standing in the center of the ring. Let him go. As we near the conclusion of round number four. Between Dennis Glaser and Oscar Leewald. And swinging at the bell. I cannot wait. Former four division world title holder Adrian the Problem Broner takes on undefeated three division champion Mikey Garcia in a 140 pound matchup on Saturday, July 29th from Barclays Free Center in Brooklyn, hand. New York. Live on Showtime. Guys, the summer just started and it's going to get hot, especially as we head towards July 29th. But as we have here, Dennis Galarza. Get your hands free. Get off the mat. Free up your hands, son. Huh? Ray Flores, Badu Jack, J. Leon Love, Jordan Hardy here in Las Vegas on a record-breaking heat score sheet of the day. Guys, before I have Galarza winning. He's winning the meaningful shots. Um, let him go, let him go. Good. He's in the fight. It's very competitive. Galarza looking very sharp here in this fifth round. Let him go, let him go, let him go. He's getting a lot of you're holding him, you're holding leverage him. and unloading with those hooks to the body. And he comes upstairs with a left hook on the chin of Matienda. Matienda continues to move forward. Manu Jack, how advantageous come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. In a ray of punches like Dennis Galarza. To go ahead and answer back as he's throwing that jab to sneak in right hand over that jab. Yeah, you gotta catch in between his punches, you know, because all of his punches are hard. So you're holding, you're holding. He's not really looking for uh, to defend himself. So he's trying to catch an uppercut or, or a straight right in between his combinations. No, 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 no. Let him up, let him up, let him up. Don't leave him. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Robert Burton warns Dennis Galarza for holding, accidental holding. Back. And comes Tienda. And if you're Tienda, get your hands free, get your hands free. When you're fighting someone who's taller, he almost has to, Jay Leon, utilize like a Ricky Hat game plan. And, you know, as he has the, on the tie up, throw some punches. Free up your hands, free up your hands. And, and make an impression in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, exactly. Uh, make it go for broke. You know, fight, let it all, let your hands go. Give it all you got right now. Um, he's down on the card. I don't know if he knows he's down on the card, but he's down on the card, Stop. and he Stop. has to make this fight Step ugly. Out. Step out. Step out. Step out. And he's not making Galarza pay whatsoever when they are tied up, and there are these No, 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 He's running with his keep head. Keep your, you shut up. Yes, sir. Keep your head, keep your head up. Keep your fight clean. You understand yes, me? All right. Final 10, ten seconds. seconds of this fifth round. Robert Burton taking control. And Drop Tienda's the neck. Drop the neck. Stop. Get off his neck. Let him go. Work your way out. Welcome back to the PBC on FS1. Let's toss it to our very own Jordan Hardy, who has more on Dennis Galarza. Ray, thank you. So if you guys look at over in Dennis Galarza's corner, there is Erickson Lubin sitting there. He is also trained by Dennis's trainer, Jason Galarza. He's a 154-pound contender. He's here supporting Dennis tonight. They are like brothers, you know. They've known each other since the age of seven. And Lubin has actually lived with their family since they were 10 or 11 years old. So these guys go way back here in their go. words. Their, work, their bond is unbreakable, but I asked if there's a sibling rivalry between the two, and they said no. They have a lot of respect for each other, and they actually want the best for one another, but when they spar, they get pretty rough, and Galarza said, Lubin is a little too big now for him to talk mess to him in sparring. So, Ray, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. You know what? That's what Jason Galarza, Dennis Galarza's father and trainer, told us. He goes, when they were 15 and 17, the kind of gym wars that they had should have been filmed because, my goodness, they were something very special, and they 
they no longer allow them to spar because it right, gets get off his neck, get off his neck, get off. There you go. Yeah, it's like that. We have some. I think me and Bobby used to be like. No, 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 no. no. Sibling rivalry. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. As we have the sixth round between Dennis Galarza and Omar Tiendum. Again, tied right, up stop, another bird stop, in between stop, rounds stop, went over to Dennis Galarza, and he said the reason stop, why stop, he's leaving you with his head is when you're holding, yeah, all so he will stop holding, and no. then it will impede him from leading in with his head. But Tienda is using those veteran-like tactics to try to lead him with the head. But Jay Leon, when he's leading him with the head, he's not doing anything, so it's one thing to do it or to lead him with the head, but then you have to actually use and get some work right in. Oh, exactly. I mean, right now he's kind of fighting with an urgency, but he's kind of careless, so he doesn't really know what he's doing. He's just diving in with his head. And right by Omar Tienda, coming up on 90 Watch seconds way to go Watch in way round out. six. There you go. And a right cross that landed for Dennis Galarza. And Galarza with his left hand shot to Tienda, his best punch in a couple of rounds. Looks like Galarza is getting a little tired. And now again, Tienda leads him with the head and accidentally pushing him down is Galarza. And Galarza wants to jump on him immediately. Let him follow you, sir. Listen to me. Yes, sir. Do that one more time. No caution. No, sir. Oh, I won't do this. Huh? And Robert Burt has warned him for a third time, guys, that if he goes ahead and pushes down Omar Tienda, he will deduct the point. Let him go. Let him go. And now Galarza is trying to. They are tied up. Stop, 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 stop. Tienda is initiating those tie ups. <laughs> So it is back and forth we go in terms of the gamesmanship between the two combatants. But Omar Tienda, now he is ripping to the body of Dennis Galarza. And Galarza momentarily went from conventional to southpaw. Now he's southpaw. You know, I think Galarza is uh, actually getting frustrated and maybe even tired. With Tienda's pressure, he's putting Let him go, let him go. Yeah. I don't think he expected a, a, a tough fight like this. This is, this is a very rough and an ugly fight for the Nine, eight, seven, six, And back comes Galarza and Tienda. They continue Bow! to go head to head. Welcome back to the BBC on FS1. There you see in the corner, it is Jesus Fuentes speaking to Omar Tienda. Hey, guys, if you were in his corner, what are you telling him? Keep, keep uh, you know, pushing forward. Put that pressure on him and try to go to the body and, and just, you know, try to outwork the guy. Yeah, I agree. Make it as ugly as possible without getting a point to the point to the And immediately coming out to gain the center of the ring is Dennis Galarza. They're almost in a they're wrestling around in close quarters. And Tienda throws a left hook to separate himself. Dennis Galarza using that hook to the body. I think if, I think if Galarza uses his range and make him a more cleaner fight for himself, he's kind of leaning in with Tienda, so it's, it's like both leaning in and making it an ugly fight. When Galarza has a, such a good jab and he snaps it back, and when he doubles up on the jab, he can really hurt you, but do you think it was a case that he's winning the fight on your scorecards, but he's not making it easier for himself? Should he be using the center of the ring more and pop in the jab and everything should be coming behind that jab? Yeah. Yes, he should. I mean, he's so tall. What? He's uh, almost 5'10", but 5'10", and he needs to use the range. He's, he, if he used the range, the fight wouldn't be this way. Well, back comes Omar Tienda as he's banging away on the left side of the body of Dennis Galarza. And again, they continue to wrestle here. Robert Byrne allowing them to separate Galarza, getting upset at Omar Tienda. It could be a case of between the two and a nice right cross that got that stuck between the guard of Omar Tienda. Badu, in your opinion, when Galarza, because he's fighting at close distance, and he's looking solid in the fight, but is it almost a case where Tienda is challenging his manhood and he's trying to bring out that bravado? Is that a case as well? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. I think, uh, you know, he's he trying to stay in there and to say, you know, I, I can fight on the inside too. I'm big and strong and tough too. Gotta work, gotta work. But that's not always the smartest way to win a fight. Right? Well, Dennis Galarza is certainly showing different facets to his game. He's 5'10", and you know what, guys, and now going down 
for a brief moment was Dennis Galarza. A, a tall lightweight that comes to mind, Robert Easter Jr. He's going to put his title on the line against Dennis Shapovalov, and he fights like a tall fighter, whereas Galarza, we saw him fight tall for the first couple rounds, and, and now he is fighting and showing that inside game that he's trying to implore. Let him go, let him go. It could also be that you know, Tiendo is close in the distance. So the by Omar Tienda, and Galarza has three choice but to fight out of it. Come on, it has been an eventful seventh round. Galarza tells him for four days, he didn't put his head, but Galarza turns it around. And now, Tienda pops his head right back up by stages of round seven. We're on to the BBC on FBS about a matchup here in the lightweight division between Dennis Galarza and Omar Tienda. Welcome back to Las Vegas. It is the PBC on FS1. Jason Galarza giving instructions to his son and his fighter, Dennis the Surgeon Galarza. Guys, how do you have the fight score? Gave the last round to Tienda, actually. And here are a couple of the, some of the inside fighting and the push downs, incidentally, by Dennis Galarza. As Tienda leading in from the head, it could be a combination of the two as we resume with live action here in Las Vegas. Round number eight, final three rounds remaining. But do, do you feel that there is a sense of urgency in the corner of Omar Tienda? Should he be really trying to score a knockdown or believing that he's down on the scorecards heavily? Yeah, I, I believe he's down on the scorecards, but, uh, you know, he's, look, he's been looking good the last two rounds, so he just got to, you know, keep pressing forward and, and do what he's doing the last two rounds, and, you know, maybe he get the victory anyway. And here is how Badu Jack and Jay Leon Love score the fight, 68 to 65. They have given the sixth and seventh round to Omar Tienda, so all the judges are in accordance with both Jay Leon and Badu. If Tienda is able to win these final three rounds, conceivably it would be a draw. But what a right cross there by Dennis Galarza as Tienda comes in with more of a reckless abandon. It looks like Tienda is a, is a more of a later fighter. He may not star fast, but he will pick it up as the fight goes on. Yeah, that's exactly what he said in, in, in the fighting meeting. That he's going to fill him out the first round, and, and then he's going to adjust it. And Dennis Galarza, and now they continue to, and Robert Bird is allowing them to fight out. And Galarza had his arms on the ropes, and he was telling. He was telling Dennis Galarza, warning him again. And Dennis Galarza, no stranger to going the distance, he has been. 18 times, or eight times in the course of his career, almost half of his pro fights has he gone the distance. So Galarza knows what it is to have something left in the tank as 70 seconds remain in round number eight in order to finish strong. Yeah, um, right now he looks a little tired though. Uh, you know, like I said, the pressure of Tienda is, is bothering him. The, the rugged, the roughness is bothering him. I think that's taking a toll. Tienda remains steadfast in trying to pressure and Dennis Galarza. He goes from convention to southpaw. And there are times, Badu, where he's switching up in mid of stride, trying to throw a punch and connect. Yeah, he's trying to he switch to southpaw. No, 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 no. I think he, he's trying to give uh, you know, Tienda a different look. So it's not too uh, predictable. You know what's interesting about Dennis Galarza, he has gone in and he sparred with not only Eric Lubin, but when he was a young man, he actually sparred with him. It took a couple of rounds, but Luis Ortiz, the heavyweight. So Galarza says, look, I'll fight anybody. And that's the kind of attitude I have. And Tienda and Galarza, a nice exchange to end round number eight here in Las Vegas. And I talk Welcome back to the PBC on FS1. What a way to conclude round number eight. As we go ahead and take a look at some of the action late in the round. And you heard the right cross that landed for Galarza after the bell. And Robert Bird is instructing the both fighters. Round number nine, Jay Leon, that seemed to be accidental. What were your thoughts? Yeah, it was accidental. He, he did exchange, you know. Uh, Nothing purpose there. Um, I don't know. It, it's a little frustrating. I think. Right, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, 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 oh
One point. One point. One point. Don't throw the man down. You have to do that. Hey, that baby. You, you don't have to do that. You understand me? Now go to that corner. Just stay long. He's too so tall. Just keep his distance. And at the age of 24, this is certainly a learning experience. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. No, no, no. Three and a half year pro yeah. in Dennis Let's Galarza. And Tienda took a big breath there. He seems to be tiring as well. Both guys are tired. And let him go. 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 Back to convention. There you go. And Tienda throws a couple of hooks, but he gets caught with a left uppercut. Followed by an overhand right. No, 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 stop. Step out, step out. That's final a good 10 seconds five seconds to go in round number nine as we approach the 10th and final round here in Las no, Vegas. No, 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 bell, bell, bell. Between bell. Dennis Galarza and Omar Tienda. Let's take a look at some of the action from round number nine. There you go, the two knockdowns between That's the, 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 the two accidental. That was where they deducted a point from Omar Tienda. Guys, do you agree with the point? Yeah, you can, uh, you can get hurt, you know, from, uh, from a shot like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, Omar's just pushing Tienda's uh, head down. So he could punch his side in that yeah, he has to do it right now. I mean, uh, even on the production, we don't know how the judges have it scored, so you have to go out there and be smart. And use all your skill, use all your arsenal of punches, and be smart and stay away, keep your distance, and try to get this win. Right. What would you like to see out of Martina? He just needs to try to get a knockout. Or... Try to get a knockdown. Get off his neck, get off his neck, get off his neck, get off his neck. Galarza is winning the fight on the scorecard. Final round. Dennis Galarza, this is the ninth time he has been in the final round. And a shortcut that hammered and connected flush for Dennis Galarza. And Galarza uses those right uppercuts. And you know, in the mindset of the 24 year old. Get off his neck, get off his neck, let him go. He's trying to. Really finish off in grand Free up your fashion, hands. Free up your hands. even though this has been a very difficult fight and not the easiest physically on a young man who's 24. Stop. 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 I, saw I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Don't do it. It was a left shoulder shrug 
by Dennis Galoza that Robert Burton was warning him on. Now, now I believe uh, it's Tim that is holding. Watch your head. Yeah, I think it's just the rough tactics from Tian that is making this really, a really a hard, rough fight. Now Galarza has his hands below his, he's not, he doesn't have his guard up, and he's just whacking away go. Punch him over Tienda. Galarza needs to use a jab, he needs to stay long. Get those points with that jab, get up and down using the jab with the right hands to the body. Yeah, he had a better round, better start stop, this I got stop. Galarza. Turn around. Robert Byrne, final 70 seconds of the fight. A Dennis Galarza aiming to win his 11th out of his last 12 matchup. Oh, and an uppercut, the right uppercut continues to find a home on the chin of Omar Tienda. Dennis Galarza, stable mate of Erickson Hammer Lubin. Extensive amateur career. He's a father of one. Let him go, let him go, he let him go. Free up your hands. Free up your hands. Free up your hands. Son Jeter watching back home in Orlando. Cheering him on. He can't wait to get home to his baby and celebrate the first Father's Day. His Father's Day was this past Sunday. And hopefully, it will be a victory in his eyes. 20 seconds and Galarza pounds away in his chest as they say, come on, let's finish this and go toe to toe on toe to toe Tuesdays. <laughs> Final stages of this fight between Dennis Galarza and Omar Tim. That's all, that's all, that's all. That is the end of the fight, and they show us on his sportsmanship to embrace, even though it was a very difficult physical matchup. We will we go the distance between Dennis Galarza and Omar Tienda. It was an eventful and entertaining matchup, although not the most aesthetically pleasing. Let's take a look at some of the action from the fight, Badu. Yeah, it was a very tough fight, especially for Galarza, because I don't think he's used to fighting a tough guy like that. Yeah, right. I mean, you can see it was a really rough fight for Galarza. Tienda was just doing whatever he could, throwing down. I mean, Overall, I give it to Galarza. It was just rough. It was an ugly fight, but it's all it's all about getting the win. It was quite a bit of wrestling, and there you see the throw by it was like a judo throw there by Omar Tienda, where Robert Burt deducted a point there, taking a, a page out of some martial arts, and they continue to go ahead and wrestle with the left shoulder jolt by Galarza. And now to get the official decision, love you, Mama. Love you, Jaden. Answer here is Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Jarman scores the contest 98-91. Judge Moretti scores the contest 99 to 90, and Judge Ocasio scores the contest 100 to 89. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Dennis the Surgeon. to 16 and two. That is a happy belated Father's Day for the father of the Hoosier. His son, Jaden, is the winner. Dennis Galarza getting the victory by unanimous decision over Omar Tien.